Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing. The unboxing knife is going to be the one I just took out of the package, the Holt Haptic. This knife is pretty incredible. I have noticed that I slip off a little bit, not because it's like, um, not because it's, uh, like, what am I trying to say, smooth? It's because it's got a stronger detent, not too strong. But it, you know, it's something you got to get used to. You got to want to go for it. You know, you got to do the old Dirk warning. What does, what does Dirk do? He does this, like, I don't know. He does this weird thing where he like, he freaking comes down on that sucker and goes right through. I love it. Love it, Dirk. Um, but anyway, yeah, really cool. This package here is from my buddy, Alex. Uh, check out his channel, 814EDC. Um... Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put away the haptic here. Oh. Woo. Woo. It's going to be hard to give that one back. Um, oh, there's a little note in here. So, yeah, Alex is 814EDC, newer channel on YouTube. He's a college kid, giving his perspective on knives. Doesn't have a ton of money to spend, but he has good taste. You know, it's kind of a balance there. Um, I sent him three of my knives, and he's sending me those back with a couple of his. So that's kind of what's going on. Check out his channel. Subscribe. Give him some love for me, guys. Uh, 814EDC. Kev, thanks so much for loaning these bad boys out to me. I hope you enjoy the two front flippers I sent for you to check out. Thanks for being so supportive and a brother. Alex, that's my boy right there. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate you uh, sending these. And uh, I appreciate the note, man. That, that really means a lot. You've touched my heart. So this is my case. Just going to double check that my... I think I sent my Malibu, my Bombshell, and my uh, UTX-85 Bounty Hunter. So, yep. We have the 85 Bounty Hunter right here. We have the uh, Protec Malibu. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to compare this. This is going to sound silly. I kind of want to compare this knife to the uh, haptic i don't know this might be the poor man's whole haptic right here boys that's shots fired or whatever but I'm telling you poor man's whole haptic right here all right sorry i got off track there getting all getting all crazy and shit um doo -doo -doo. i think this is my bazam shell yep there's my bazam shell. Hold on, let me just wrap this up. I just like to keep all the cases in one place. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm like singing now. Oh yeah, baby, give me that bomb shield. Give me that danger pickle. I need to take this apart, maybe clean it up. Looks like he carried it a little bit. So he loosened it up for me. Thank you. Because that was one I didn't carry a ton, and I think I needed to break it in. Anyway, here we go. We have a little card here. Look at that. 814 Everyday Carry. It's a sticker. Hey, man, cool. You got stickers already. He's swagging out. Swagging out. All right. We got a wee pouch with two schnives in it. Here is the Kaiser Feist. Now, these are a couple of front flippers, guys. You know me, I'm not a front flipper fan, so this could get crazy up in here. Um, I'm going to do my normal unboxing, and then I'll probably do like the overview review, right, before I send it back. Um, I don't usually do the first impression disassembly thing with other people's knives, um, just because I'm trying to be respectful, and uh, damn, this clip is tight as shit. Man, yeah, it pops in, but... Um, this is a really, really cool looking spec on this. I would never choose a blacked out knife. I'm just not into the DLC coating, but sometimes it's really cool looking and this one's making me want one. I mean, look at that micarta. It's just got this black tone to it on the, uh, what is it? I guess it's black micarta. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but then everything else is blacked out. This is a cool ass looking knife, Alex. So, again, left-handed with the front flipper. This is going to suck. All right, I got it open. That's good. Um, 
I mean, it's comfortable in hand, very neutral blade, no blade play. You got a liner lock. The lock sticks out a little bit, so you just kind of pop it over. And then you have the issue with a lot of uh, front flippers, which is you gotta, you can't keep your finger up here. I always put my finger up here when I disengage, but then you're holding on to the flipper there, you see? So you have to be down here, and then it'll just drop. This thing has really good action. Can I do a reach around? You can kind of do a reach around on this guy. Uh, again, this is made by Kaiser. Uh, that's probably going to be the preferred way for me to open this knife, is like this, just because... I've explained this a million times, but as a righty, you can grip the clip like that, and then you grab the front, boom, and that's how you flip it open, right? Like that. It's even hard right-handed with big hands, but then lefty, you have no clip, so you're like hanging onto the edge of the scale or something, and then you're just praying it comes out and that you don't slip and stab yourself. So I got it out, but my thumb, my hand is like this. Like, it's just awkward and dangerous. But I really do like this knife design. Um, I like it in hand overall. Really cool, interesting little front flipper here. That is the Feist. And then we have the Mini Micarta Morph. This one here is an Indiana Knives exclusive. I almost bought one of these. There's only 300 made. Um, cause it looked like you could reverse the clip, but I emailed them and they said, no, you can't. Um, it's mounted very interestingly, like from the inside the clip. And because of that, they couldn't do it. I think that's a big old miss right there for us lefties. You have this natural micarta, um, kind of feels a lot like, uh, Riot's natural micarta, maybe. Uh, we're centered. Uh, it's a really little knife. And once again, as a righty, you're probably going to be hanging on to this clip, right? And then you just grab this tab right here, pop it out. I mean, action is pretty good on that. Let's try it lefty. Yeah, this one's going to be even tougher, I think. Ah, got it. So there you go. No play. Alex knows how to tune a knife. I'll give him that. Good job, Alex. Um, really cool, interesting little knife. Again, left-handed, top flipper. That's going to be the only way for me to operate this and actually, like, enjoy doing it. So I'll probably do a little bit of that top flipping, you know. That'll be it. Uh, I was joking around with him on the live show we did the other night on the edge. Check it out. And I told him I was going to hate these. Um, I am definitely a dick. Um, but I just knew being left-handed, these little front flippers even though they're liner locks that it wouldn't work very well um i do want to point out this backspacer is jacked up um i don't know what is going on with this look at that you see that it has like a crack down the center well not a crack but like a crevice what is this in backwards alex no because it cuts into this part i think it's just fucked up I don't want to alarm you here, bro, but look, and then it sticks out. See that? See how the backspacer sticks out? I can push that down. That should be in place somehow, right? And then it's got this white line or whatever. That's like, it almost looks like a crack, but it's like an indent. Um, I don't know if that's a structural issue. That's not very good fit and finish is what I'm getting at. But I, he did mention that in his review, he mentioned that this knife was kind of pieced together. It was a standard aluminum uh, metamorph, I think it's called. And the guy somehow got, uh, he got the scales, the backspacer, and the blade from Indiana Knives. Excuse me, and he built a mini micarta morph. So this wasn't actually one of the ones sold on the website. I find that very strange and interesting at the same time. Um, but that might have something to do with why this backspacer just, damn, yeah. Uh, I just want to point it out, Alex. I didn't do this. You did it or, or something. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, really cool knife, interesting knife. Um, thank you for letting me check these out. That is the uh, Real Steel Mini Micarta Morph and the Kaiser Feist. Front flippers I'll be checking out. And again, I'll just be doing my reviews on these. 
Um, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.